the U.S. economy is showing signs of strength. From the bustling streets of major cities to the busy marketplaces, there's a palpable sense of growth and activity. New data shows the economy grew at an annualized rate of 2.8% in the third quarter of this year. This is a significant indicator of economic health, reflecting increased consumer spending and business investments. This follows a strong 3% growth in the previous quarter. Such consistent growth over consecutive quarters is a positive sign, suggesting that the economy is on a stable upward trajectory. These numbers are getting a lot of attention. Financial analysts and business leaders are closely monitoring these trends, trying to understand the underlying factors. Some are calling it a boom. The optimism is evident with celebrations in financial districts and positive discussions on news panels, but things aren't always as they seem. While the surface numbers are promising, it's crucial to delve deeper into the data. We need to take a closer look. Scrutinizing the details can reveal underlying issues or potential pitfalls that aren't immediately apparent. It's important to understand what these numbers really mean for everyday Americans. How does this growth translate to the average person's daily life? Are wages increasing? Are job opportunities expanding? We'll break down the factors driving this growth and what it could mean for your wallet. From consumer spending to business investments, we'll explore the key drivers of this economic surge. We'll also examine the potential challenges that lie ahead. Economic growth can bring its own set of challenges, such as inflation or market volatility. Stay with me. We'll unpack it all, providing a comprehensive understanding of the current economic landscape. GDP, or gross domestic product, is a measure of all the goods and services produced in a country. It encompasses everything from the cars manufactured in factories to the services provided by healthcare professionals. Essentially, it's a snapshot of a nation's economic activity. It's a key indicator of economic health. When GDP is growing, it generally signals that the economy is in good shape. Investors feel more confident and businesses are more likely to expand. A growing GDP usually means businesses are doing well they're hiring more workers, which in turn reduces unemployment rates. More jobs mean more income for families, leading to increased consumer spending. People are spending more money. This increased spending fuels further economic growth, creating a positive feedback loop. Retailers see higher sales, and service providers experience more demand. The 2.8% growth in Q3 is a positive sign. It indicates that the economy is still on an upward trajectory, even if the pace has slowed slightly. It shows the economy is still expanding, new businesses are opening, and existing ones are scaling up. This expansion is visible in the construction of new buildings and the development of infrastructure. However, this growth is slightly slower than the 3% we saw in the previous quarter. This deceleration could be due to various factors, such as changes in consumer confidence or external economic pressures. This suggests the economy might be losing some steam. Businesses may become more cautious, potentially leading to slower hiring rates and reduced investment in new projects. It's crucial to remember that GDP growth alone doesn't tell the whole story. While it's an important metric, it doesn't capture the full complexity of economic health. We need to consider other factors like inflation and wage growth. Inflation can erode purchasing power, making it more expensive for families to buy goods and services. These factors have a direct impact on your purchasing power and overall financial well-being. Wage growth is essential to ensure that income keeps pace with rising prices. Let's dive deeper into the forces driving this growth. By understanding the underlying factors, we can better anticipate future trends and make more informed decisions. One of the biggest drivers of economic growth is consumer spending. This makes up about 70% of the U.S. economy. When people feel confident about the future, they tend to spend more. Consumer spending remained relatively strong in Q3. This is despite rising interest rates and persistent inflation. People are still buying cars, going out to eat, and making other discretionary purchases. However, there are signs that consumer confidence is starting to waver. Inflation is still eating into paychecks. Rising interest rates make borrowing more expensive. The upcoming election is also creating uncertainty. Another factor contributing to GDP growth is government spending. This includes spending on defense, infrastructure, and social programs. Defense spending in particular saw a significant increase in Q3. Increased government spending can stimulate the economy in the short term, 
It injects money into the system and creates jobs. However, excessive government spending can also lead to higher deficits and debt in the long run. The current level of government spending is a subject of much debate. Some argue that it's necessary to support economic growth. Others contend that it's unsustainable and will lead to future economic problems. Section 5. Election Uncertainty Looms The upcoming presidential election is adding another layer of complexity to the economic outlook. Elections always create a degree of uncertainty. Businesses and consumers tend to hold back on spending until they have a clearer picture of the future. The outcome of the election could have significant implications for the economy. It could impact everything from taxes to trade policy to health care. This uncertainty is likely to weigh on economic growth in the coming months. It's still too early to say definitively how the election will impact the economy. However, it's something that businesses and investors are watching very closely. The uncertainty is palpable. Section 6. Looking back to understand today. To fully grasp the significance of the current economic data, it's helpful to look back at historical trends. By examining the past, we can identify patterns and cycles that often repeat themselves, providing valuable insights into today's economic landscape. The U.S. economy has experienced periods of both robust growth and deep recession over the past few decades. These fluctuations are influenced by a myriad of factors, including technological advancements, policy changes, and global events. For instance, the late 1990s saw a period of unprecedented economic expansion. This era, often referred to as the dot-com boom, was characterized by rapid growth in the technology sector and a surge in stock market investments. This was fueled by the dot-com boom and technological innovation. Companies like Amazon and Google emerged as major players, revolutionizing the way we live and work. However, this boom was followed by a recession in the early 2000s. The burst of the dot-com bubble led to significant financial losses and a slowdown in economic activity. More recently, the 2008 financial crisis led to the worst recession since the Great Depression. This crisis was triggered by the collapse of major financial institutions and a housing market crash, causing widespread economic turmoil. This was a stark reminder that even seemingly strong economies can be vulnerable to unexpected shocks. The ripple effects were felt globally, highlighting the interconnectedness of modern economies. The recovery from that crisis was slow and painful for many Americans. It took years for employment rates to bounce back and for businesses to regain stability. The lessons learned from these past events are crucial as we navigate the complexities of today's economic environment. Section 7. Can this growth last? The question on everyone's mind is whether the current economic expansion can be sustained. There are both reasons for optimism and reasons for concern. On the positive side, consumer spending remains relatively strong. The job market is still healthy with low unemployment. Businesses are continuing to invest and innovate. However, there are also challenges. Inflation, though moderating, is still a concern. Interest rates are high. The global economy is slowing. The outcome of the election could also have a significant impact. Section 8. The Fed's Balancing Act. The Federal Reserve, the central bank of the United States, plays a crucial role in managing the economy. The Fed sets interest rates and controls the money supply. Its goal is to promote stable prices and maximum employment. The Fed has been aggressively raising interest rates this year in an effort to combat inflation. These rate hikes are designed to slow down the economy and bring inflation under control. However, raising interest rates too quickly could push the economy into a recession. The Fed is walking a tightrope, trying to balance the need to control inflation with the need to avoid a recession. Section 9. Global uncertainty adds to the mix. The U.S. economy doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's deeply intertwined with the global economy. And the global economy is facing its own set of challenges. The war in Ukraine, for example, has disrupted supply chains and driven up energy prices. China's economy is slowing down. Europe is facing an energy crisis. These global headwinds are likely to weigh on the U.S. economy in the coming months. They could further fuel inflation and dampen economic growth. It's a complex and interconnected world and uncertainty reigns. Section 10. What it means for your wallet. 
Ultimately, the most important question is what all of this means for you, the average American. How will these economic trends impact your wallet? The good news is that the job market is still strong. If you're looking for a job, you're likely to find one. However, wage growth has not kept pace with inflation, meaning your paycheck might not go as far as it used to. Rising interest rates mean that it's more expensive to borrow money. This could make it more difficult to buy a home or a car. It also means that credit card debt is becoming more costly. Section 11, the bottom line. The US economy is a complex and ever-changing beast. The recent GDP numbers suggest that the economy is still growing, but there are signs that this growth is slowing. The coming months will be crucial. The outcome of the election, the Fed's actions, and the global economic outlook will all play a role in shaping the future of the US economy. It's important to stay informed about these developments and to be prepared for any potential challenges that lie ahead. The economy impacts all of us, and understanding the forces at play is essential for navigating